There are some countries whose predominant resource for oil is the Arctic. The concern is what happens if there's an oil leak? Where will that oil flow? It will really be affecting the entire ecosystem of the entire planet if there's a massive oil spill in the Arctic. Because you can't deploy heavy machinery, you can't deploy ships in Arctic conditions, it's not really possible to clean up the oil by mechanical means. So even though burning oil in place is the easiest way of cleaning up the oil spill, uh, it's still difficult to ignite and the burning rates are still low. So we are researching how to optimize this process. So the basic idea of the experiments is so we try to do some uh, lab scale fundamental study of the crude oil burning in the ice. We have the various sensors to measure the temperature distribution inside of the fuel and water layer, and also have the heat flux gauges to measure the heat flux from the flame to the oil surface and to the ice wall and to the surroundings. When the experimental setup is complete, we ignite the oil. The first time when I saw it, it was really exciting. The flame can reach up to like four or five meters, and it became really, really intense. So as the oil is burning, it spreads out, melting the ice on the sides. This causes the oil layer to thin and extinguish. So after the oil has extinguished, the ice can refreeze, and the oil can be sealed in the ice. Well, the danger is that it now becomes unrecoverable using any means. So what we have created is a technology called flame refluxer, which captures the heat from the fire and transmits it back into the fuel, thereby increasing the combustion efficiency up to 10 times. The longer you let oil or any kind of hazardous waste linger, the more damage it does. And that's what this technology does. The flame refluxer allows you to significantly reduce the cleanup time. So we have also found this technology works well in other applications, like disposing of hazardous waste. The flame refluxer technology will change industry by providing a simpler solution. You're significantly decreasing the time it takes to clean up an oil spill. It's highly economical compared to what exists right now.